unless I see the mark of the nails in his scans and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel go to you for sin's sake. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Thomas the Apostles. Thomas is also called Didymus. It was a nickname. When the risen Lord appeared to the disciples after his resurrection, Thomas was not with them in Jerusalem in the upper room. When the other disciples told Thomas when he returned that they have seen the risen Lord, Thomas told them he will not believe it unless he himself sees the Lord face to face and put his hand in his wounded side and also examine his nail marks by himself. So, in the following week, when Thomas was with the rest of the disciples, Jesus appeared again and told Thomas to examine his nail marks and put his hand in his wounded side. Thomas made an amazing expression of his faith. He expressed his faith in the Lord Jesus when he said, My Lord and my God. Jesus told Thomas, Thomas, you became a believer because you have seen me. But blessed are those who have not seen yet believe. So the story reminds us that you know that we have not seen the risen Lord with our own eyes, yet we believe in the Lord Jesus because. We believe what is written in the Gospel. Thomas, according to tradition, went to India and proclaimed the good news to the people of India. And there he was martyred according to tradition. So, it is his feast we celebrate today on this July 3rd, Feast of St. Thomas the Apostle, who made a bold proclamation of his faith in the risen Lord when he said, My Lord and my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before him, and ask for his blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious, and laity, that they may always follow Jesus. Listen to his teachings faithfully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland, and also in all those places torn by war and violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families and the members of our parish community, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus in their pains and sufferings and get well from their illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our 
our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intention of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and your goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let's be God for our own. <clears throat> By the mystery of this part and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink, bless be God forever. With a humble spirit and a contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Watch me, Lord, for my iniquity. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and your words may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church. We render you, O Lord, this service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us as we honor thee. Confession of the Apostle Saint Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always send everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and the dominions, and with the, all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the new fold, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it took his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it 
to get the disciple saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, Blaise Sufit, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours in event forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of the Holy Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to save it. May the receiving of your body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ not bring you to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, we form your protection, might, and body, and healing. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Now permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The communion song. Bring your hand and feel the face of the nails and do not be unbelieving but believing. Let us pray, O oh God, as we truly receive in the sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, and we pray that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, and God bless you. For our procession, we will sing a living faith. Song number 579, 579. Faith of our fathers living still, in spite of dungeon fire and sword, oh how our hearts beat high with joy, when our that glorious word, faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to you till death. Faith of our mothers, daring faith, your word for Christ is love. Faith of our mom.